I have always been a fan of kimchi and many years ago I was very lucky to learn how to make kimchi with an amazing Korean chef and today I want to show you how we can easily make kimchi at home okay so first we're gonna cut the napa cabbage into bite-sized pieces And we're going to rinse the Napa cabbage in running water for a few minutes. Transfer a layer of Napa cabbage to a large mixing bowl and sprinkle some coarse sea salt over the Napa cabbage. And we're going to give it a good mix. And we're going to repeat until we're finished with all the Napa cabbage and salt. And pause and turn the napa cabbage every 30 minutes just to ensure that the napa cabbage is salted evenly everywhere. The total brine time is about 3 hours to 4 hours. We know that the cabbage is ready when the white part is soft and flexible. Rinse the napa cabbage in running water until all the salt has been removed for about 3 times. And we're going to drain the cabbage until there is no more excess of water. In a saucepan over a low heat, add the water and sweet rice flour. If you can't find sweet rice flour, you can also replace it with all-purpose flour or glutinous rice flour. And constantly stir until the paste becomes sticky and pasty. For about five minutes. And let it come to a room temperature for about 20 minutes. In a food processor, transfer in the garlic, ginger, apple, onion, Sandlands fish sauce, anchovy fish sauce, salted shrimp, and plum syrup. and blend it until it becomes a paste. In the meantime, we're going to slice the scallions into 2 inch pieces. And slice the Korean radish into matchstick pieces. Also cut the carrot into matchstick pieces. In a large mixing bowl, combine the rice paste, spice and seasoning paste, Korean chili pepper flakes, and give it a good mix. Also, we're going to transfer in the scallions, Korean radish, and carrot. Mix well. In another mixing bowl, we're going to put in some Napa cabbage and also the spicy paste. And give it a good mix. And we're going to repeat this step until we finished with all the Napa cabbage and the spicy paste.
transfer the kimchi to an airtight container and ferment it in your fridge for the next 5 to 7 days. For a more tangy kimchi, you could also ferment it under room temperature for the first 2 days and then transfer it to your fridge for the next several days. Mmm, mmm, <laughs> very crunchy. It is spicy, so good, absolutely authentic taste. I would love to stay in touch with you on Facebook, Instagram, and also YouTube. To share with you my traditional kimchi recipe. It's going to be very easy to follow step by step so you can all start making kimchi immediately. Let's get started! First, cut the napa cabbage into quarters. If napa cabbage isn't available in your areas, you could also replace it with green cabbage. Rinse the cabbage in running water. Place in a quarter cup of Korean coarse sea salt. Pour in the water and whisk until dissolved. We have about half cup of Korean coarse sea salt here. Sprinkle a pinch of salt over every layer of the cabbage. Repeat with the rest. Place the cabbage in the salted water. And we're going to grind until the white part of the cabbage becomes soft, flexible, and bendable. About 8 hours. It also depends on the size and freshness of your cabbage. Salt will release the moisture inside the Napa cabbage. So it will stay crunchy for a very long time and it also kills germs. Rinse the napa cabbage in running water until all the salt on the surface has been removed for about three times. And drain until there is no excess of water. In a saucepan over low heat, add the water and sweet rice flour. You can also replace it with glutinous rice flour or all-purpose flour. Constantly stir until the paste becomes sticky and pasty and bring it to a boil. Let it come to room temperature for about 20 minutes. In a food processor, transfer in the garlic, ginger, Korean pear. You could also replace it with apple, onion, anchovy fish sauce. Korean salted shrimp. If it is not available in your local grocery store, you could also omit it. Korean plum syrup. You could also replace it with other types of syrup or honey. Blend until it becomes a paste. In a large mixing bowl, combine the rice paste, spice and seasoning paste, and Korean chili pepper flakes. You can add more or less based on your preference. And whisk. Also place in the scallions, Korean radish, and carrot. 
mixed well. And we're gonna spread some kimchi paste on every layer of the cabbage. I like to be generous about it, but you can put more or less based on your preference. We are working on one piece at a time and repeat with the rest. Transfer the kimchi to an airtight container. I got my kimchi container from H Mart, a Korea supermarket. If you don't have this extra lid, you could also replace it with plastic wrap. To ferment faster, leave it under room temperature for about a day. Then place it in the fridge to continue the fermentation from 5 days to 1 month. It depends on how tangy and sour you want your kimchi to be. Continue to chill in the fridge for up to 3 months or even longer. This is truly amazing, really delicious. It's very refreshing, really crunchy, spicy, tangy, and full of umami taste. It's just so delicious. So I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. If you like it, subscribe and thumbs up. Also click on the little bell button so you get notifications of my new recipes. I'll see you again next week for another awesome episode. Bye! Korean cucumber kimchi oyusabanki is a very popular type of kimchi during summer. It is spicy, crunchy, and super refreshing. If you like any type of kimchi at all, you gotta give oyusabanki a try. You will love it. First, we're gonna cut off both ends of the cucumbers. Slice them into a cross pattern lengthwise without cutting all the way through. Transfer the cucumbers to a mixing bowl. In a pot over high heat, place in the water. and Korean coarse sea salt. Pour the hot boiling water into the mixing bowl. Don't worry, the cucumbers won't be cooked. Instead, they will stay crunchy for a very long time. Rinse the cucumbers with room temperature cooked water. And drain. In a mixing bowl, we're going to combine the chives, onion, carrot, garlic, Korean chili flakes, fish sauce, Korean salted shrimp. This will help to add a delicious umami taste to it, but if this isn't available in your local grocery stores, you could just opt it out. Korean plum extract. You could also replace this with sugar if you can't find it. Also, we're gonna add sugar, sesame seeds, and room temperature cooked water. Mix well.
Gently open each cucumber and place the stuffing inside. Coat the outside as well. Place them in an airtight container. The cucumbers can be eaten right away, or you can also let them go through the fermentation process. To let them ferment faster, you can leave them out at room temperature for about a day, then continue to ferment and store inside the fridge for up to four weeks. During the fermentation process, a tangy flavor will develop. Enjoy! Super delicious, really crunchy as you can hear the sound. The best part, it goes with anything. You can eat it with rice or noodles, anything you like. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Subscribe and thumbs up. I will see you again next week for another awesome episode. Bye!